Hi guys, welcome to episode number 9 of my horror game tutorial series. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little jump scare. Um, it's nothing special. Uh, this piano, like, let me turn off the lights in the scene, you can do it up here. Um, I'm going to have this piano play a little sound when the player enters a certain part of the room. Um, we're going to do this with something called a trigger and um, it's not very complicated so I hope you can uh, follow along easily. Okay, so um, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to add the actual trigger. So to do this we go to game object, 3D object and we're going to add a cube. Okay. Then we're going to position uh, position this cube at the location we want um, the trigger to be. So let's let's say if the player comes through this door, then this piano uh, should play a little um, sound effect to scare the player. Okay. So then, when we position uh, position it at the right position. We are going to delete the mesh renderer because we obviously don't want the trigger to be seen. And so we only need uh, the collider. And let's call this uh, cube, um, let's say, piano gear trigger, and enter. And then we are going to adjust the collider size. You can do this uh, right here. So First of all, we want to make it bigger. So let's like make it bigger and then bring it up. That seems about right. And then we want to... No, we don't want to increase the Z. We want to increase the X. So that it fits the door frame around this. So this looks good. And now the most important thing is you have to make sure that the box is trigger is checked because otherwise this will happen. So let me start the game. And now if I want to go to the store, you can see that I get blocked because right now this collider is not set to a trigger. It's uh, set to a normal collider. So if I press the is trigger box and then play again, and now I can walk through it. Uh, this trigger, uh, what it is doing, it's uh, basically looking for um, something to go into it, okay? So if the player, <coughs> I'm sorry, if the player enters this trigger, um, then a script uh, will call, uh, will be called. And this script is going to be our scare trigger script, so let's make this script. So we go down here in our scripts folder, right click, create new, and then C sharp script. Go on to call this scare trigger. Or you can call it as ever you like. But I'm going to call my scare trigger. So double click. And Visual Studio will load up. This can might take a few seconds. So let's wait. Uh, this is taking a long time. Uh, by the way, I upgraded my Unity version to the next version. Uh, that changed um, nothing that is interesting for us. So just go ahead and uh, upgrade Unity to stay up to date. That's always a good thing to stay up to date. Sometimes an update might uh, change uh, things um that affect your pr uh, that affect your actual project but in the most cases the updates uh, won't do that they only increase performance and do such things so now visual studio should load up i might cut this out because this is taking like a really long time it normally it doesn't take as long as it does right now well <laughs> Now when we are speaking of this, uh, uh, when we are speaking of it, it opens. 
so I go full screen and I'm going to zoom in for you guys so that you uh, so that you can actually read what I'm doing okay so the first thing uh, the first variable we want is um, we want if I go to uh, the piano just click on it um, we want this piano to play a sound and in the last episode I showed you how to add sound so we're going to add an audio source okay like here's the audio source and I want to make this uh, a 3d sound so I go down here and where it says a special blend go from 2d to full 3d okay so now this is a 3d sound and uh, if you wear headphones the sound will only come through the headphone uh, to one of the headphone size okay so then we are going to import um, a sound effect so I go to my desktop and I'm opening this folder and in the sounds folder you will find a sound called the dramatic piano sound we're going to grab this and drag it into unity into our sound effects folder and if I play it you might recognize it uh, this is the uh, sound that they use in uh, slender the eight pages and now that we imported this we can finally write our script so we want to have the, uh, a public audio um, audio source and this is going to be the piano or oh, let's let's make it more general and call it the scare audio source and then of course of course we're going to need a public audio clip And this is going to be the scare, oops, uh, scare sound. And then we are also going to need a private boolean. Uh, a boolean is, um, what the heck? Um, a boolean is pretty much uh, always true or false. And this is going to be the has played audio boolean so uh, this boolean uh, basically uh, tells the script um, that the sound has already been played so that the script doesn't repeat the sound over and over and over again because it would sound stupid and doesn't have the effect that it needs uh, that it's uh, supposed to have and now we are not going to need a start function and we are not going to need the update uh, function so we are going to delete those two and we're going to write our own or not our own it's actually a unity function so we're going to write void and this void is called on trigger enter make sure that you get everything as uh, the same way as I do it because otherwise this won't work it's very important that you um, make sure that everything is written the same way and in this bracket we're going to write collider and other um that basically means that we want to check for an collider uh, that goes into the trigger and uh, this collider is called other um it's called other for i don't know it's just like the standard way to call uh, to call this variable you don't have to call it other you can call it as uh, as you like so you, we could also call it like uh, the Collider trigger enter collider if that helps you, but I'm going to call mine other. And then we're going to have if other. So if the thing, the collider that went into the trigger, if it has a certain tag. So other dot compare tag 
Uh, attack is like I'm going to show you in uh, in a second what attack is. So uh, if the tag is equal to player, so this basically checks uh, if the thing that uh, went into the collider is the player. And has played audio is equal to false. So um, if uh, the, plot, uh, the audio hasn't been played yet, we are going to play the uh, We are going to play the audio. So we write scare audio source dot play one shot. And then we're going to play the scare sound. And then we're going to set has played audio is equal to true. So that it won't uh, play the audio again. And now we're going back into Unity. Go into our scripts folder. Click on the scare trigger. And we're going to drag it onto the piano scare, uh, scare trigger game object. So now we have to uh, slot in the scare audio source and the scare sound. So again we are going to click on the piano so that we have it uh, right here. Then we go back into the piano scare trigger. Go down here and drag it in. Then we go into our soundfx folder. Take the dr uh, dramatic piano sound and drag it into the uh, scare sound. So if you play now and go to into the trigger, uh, you will hear that nothing happens. This is because we didn't uh, tag the player object as an actual player object. So we go to the player and where it says tag, so um, you can um, tag certain objects um, as certain things. So for example, you can have a lot of enemy objects. And then you're going to tag them all as enemy, so that all scripts know these things are enemies. Or uh, that this game object right here is actually the player. So we're going to go to the tag and add the player tag. And now, if I go into the play mode and walk in here, you can hear that the sound plays. Okay, so that's pretty much everything for now. Um, I want to give you a little, let's call it homework, so that you can uh, think a little bit for yourself and test it out. Don't worry, we are. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, how it's done in the next tutorial, but I want, to, uh, I want you to think about it. So I want you to add a spotlight to this piano, uh, put it like at the ceiling if you want. And then I want you, if this scare trigger script is activated, so if uh, the stuff inside of here happens, I want uh, that the light uh, turns on, okay? You don't have to turn it off again, because uh, that would take um, things that we didn't learn yet. But you should be able to do this since uh, <coughs> since we did the uh, um, flashlight in the last tutorial. You can also uh, you can also have a look at the flashlight uh, if you want some reference. Uh, but I think uh, this should be simple enough, and all of you should be able to do it. So um, thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing; it would really make me happy. Uh, please like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you have any further questions, just ask in the comments or add me on Skype or write me on Twitter. I'll leave links in the description below. And I really hope uh, that you enjoyed this episode. So until next time.